Um, Yes, so um, Fountain Health is a leading healthcare services organization that's both an insurer and a provider of care supporting uh, diverse and uh, changing needs of those we serve. Um, we are actually available across all of Massachusetts based on product line. Our greatest presence is in Worcester County where the organization is based out of, but we're also growing in many geographies within the Commonwealth, including Western Massachusetts, Middlesex County and Bristol County, to name a few. We also have uh, Fallon Health Weinberg, um, a PACE program in Western New York. So our, our current membership is uh, over 253,000 members, um, in, a, in addition to innovative healthcare solutions and a variety of Medicaid and Medicare products. Um, we excel in really creating unique healthcare programs and services that provide coordinated, integrated care for seniors and individuals with complex health needs. So we have more than 40 years experience and we consistently rank among the nation's top health plans by the uh, NCQA or National Committee for Quality Assurance for its HMO, Medicare Advantage and Medicaid products. Well, you know, like in any market, um, there are competitors, but we believe that um, our portfolio, our member-focused services, our unique expertise in particular in public programs and our community impact really set us apart from all the other payers in the region. Is Blue Cross Blue Shield of Massachusetts in your markets and do you compete for market share with, with them? Um, you know, we, we both carry a commercial product and a Medicare Advantage product. I would say, though, that the unique advantage that Fallon brings is because we are really in um, just about every product line, uh, including PACE, SCO, Medicaid. Um, it really enables us to bring best practices from all of these programs to bear on our um, Medicare Advantage and commercial products in a way that commercial insurers cannot do today. Well, good. Now, um, we're talking um, several months into the um, COVID-19 pandemic. The, um, for, for many insurers, many health plans, um, the experience has been that the uh, huge drop off in utilization, unprecedented uh, in the second quarter, um, uh, resulted in a um, a, a drop in expenditures that wasn't matched with a drop in income and people have piled up profits or, or, or um, uh, margin. So has that been your experience um, at, at Fallon? And are, uh, of course, some um, elective surgery has started, some utilization has picked up, but now, of course, we're getting sort of dragged back into the uh, pandemic uh, uh, to, to, to some extent. So I'm just curious, could you um, describe for us what, what the utilization and, and uh, patterns have been for Fallon and how that's affected your uh, finances? Yeah, it's a great question. You know, the pandemic is a constantly evolving situation. We're continuing to monitor the situation, but we have taken a lot of meaningful steps um, to make it easier for our members to be tested for the coronavirus to receive care. We've also greatly expanded the use of telemedicine and telebehavioral health services. Um, you know, the safety and well-being of our members is a top priority for Fallon, and we're really pleased to accelerate access to health care services uh, for those who may be impacted by COVID-19. We did experience some decreased utilization in the second quarter. Um, but we've also had to make some directed provider payments for certain of our state funded programs. Um, and in addition to that, we are starting to see um, utilization come back up to uh, near normal levels. And our expectation in Q3 and Q4 is that we will continue to see an increase in utilization that will likely continue into 2021. Yeah, no, the effect has definitely been softened. Um, I would have to get back to you with the percentage who are in value-based payments, but um, our largest product line is our Medicaid ACO product line. 
Uh, we have other value-based payment um, product lines as well. And um, I think that the value-based payments have provided a cushion. In addition to that, we have um, put in place uh, measures to ensure that we can try to keep providers as whole as possible. So for example, uh, we had a big push around telehealth and we do currently reimburse um, at 100% of an in-person visit. We also cover telephonic uh, encounters. Uh, so all of this has really helped to um, sustain the practices during uh, this pandemic.